In this video, we're going to focus on drawing rectangles and squares in the canvas. And this is part 20 of the canvas tutorial. So let's start to do, because basically there are a few ways to do it, and we have the easiest way, and we're going to just explore them all. So one of the ways, and which is basically the easiest way, is to first of all, we're going to make a, uh, a, a square that is in the shape of a border, or where we only have the framework itself, or the frame, not the inner color. So we're going to say here, very simple, we're going to say ctx dot stroke style indicating the color of the lines. So we're going to say here blue, that will be fine. And then the next one I want to do here, just to make it more clear, is to say ctx dot line width, which would indicate how many pixels. And then finally, what we're going to do here is ctx dot stroke rectangle. And the rectangle here, or the rec, which is a, is a command specifically for the stroke to create a a uh, square or a rectangle shape. So what we can do here, basically, we have to put in four parameters. The first one would be the x position that we start with, x position. And the next one would be the y position. And then afterwards, what we also have is here is the width and the height. So how many pixels in width will be and how many pixels in height. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to put in here a square. And since we have multiple squares, I want to put in one square here and then the next one later on besides it. So let's say here, make it 100 by 100. That's a quite decent one. And then we do a width of 100 by 100, creating a nice uh, square shape here. Beautiful. So this is one way, but you can see this is only based on the lines itself. So basically pure the borders. So what we can do next is another one where we're going to create a shape without borders, but you want to color the inner part. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's say a CTX, we can say here, fill style. And the fill style here, uh, oh, that's it. Let's use this color red. And then what I want to do here is CTX dot fill rectangle. And this basically is a similar command as the upper one, except now we're going to do the same but then we only color the inner. So that's why we have no line width because there is no border to be colored. So I'm going to say here, because I want it besides it, and this has a width of 100. So if this is 100 pixels, another 100 pixels, let's give it here 50 pixels, and then here we will draw it. So there must be some space between there. So we say here 250 comma 100, because I still want to be on the same uh, vertical level. On the height, we will be on equal level. And uh, next, what I want to do here is, let's say 100 by 100, exactly the same, save, refresh. There you are. You can see now we are exactly 100 pixels here, excluding the border, uh, the border around here. So there's no border here. And that's basically how it works. So now we have these, and you can see here the code of this is very concise. We don't have to say here, uh, close path, or uh, stroke or rec because it's already being recognized what exactly the shape is. So now what I want to do here is basically the most extensive one where we are going to pinpoint the color of the inner part but also the color of the border. So what I'm going to do here is basically, first of all, let's assign a color. I'm going to just grab this blue color here. And then what I want to do is the fill color will be in here. And then of course I need a line width, I realize, so we're going to grab the same line width here. So we have a blue color for the border, five pixels is the border, and then finally the fill style is red. So the border or the background color will be red. So then what I want to do here is the following. I'm going to say here, ctx dot, and then of course we're going to grab both of these commands here. This and that, except of course, our color or our position will be different. So if this one is, uh, you want to have again 100 plus 50 pixels, so that would mean here will be 400. So it will be besides each other. So if I save this, now I refresh. Now you can see here we have this, and then here the line width is 5, but you can see it somehow overlaps a little bit of the shape, and that's why it makes it a bit thinner compared to this one here. However, this is the the uh, background color and then we have here the border color so now we have the most important one but sometimes you might say i need a hole inside here or for example i want to put a, a square that is blank 
in here so you need to make space in here of course normally you could do with different shapes and you can also do it like but another way is of course to remove just an item because it would not make sense to modify the shape here instead of a rectangle to a let's say well there will be like a very different shape here because there will be lines here that are very thick and then here we have a square empty space so what we can do is and this is very nice with canvas it gives us the opportunity to clear out specific items so what i can do here is ctx and all i want to do here now is i want to say well let's say we're going to make a clear rect uh, square here that we find so how do we do this well first of all we need to figure out what is the position well let's say we want to go from here move here then maybe here whatever this is if this is 100 which should be let's say 25 pixels or all sides should be 25 pixels so that the rectangle or the square within here will be a smaller square that's 50 by 50. so how will we do this well we're going to say here, first of all clear rectangle very similar to clear path except now first of all we know the the width and height so i'm going to put in here x and y still question questionable or what we have to do here but we know the width and height that's at least 50 by 50. So what we also know is that it starts here at 400 pixels. So if you want to go to the left and right, or sorry, to the left and down to get here to this corner, we need to go, if this is 100 and the space is 50, so there must be 50 divided by 2 will be 25 pixels here, 25 pixels here. So 25 to the left and 25 pixels down will eventually get the exact position or coordinates. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to say 400, plus 25 and then this one will be 100 plus 25 will be 125 and that one will be 425 save this refresh and there you are so now we have this nice rectangle uh, or clear space and you can see it's clear and the reason why is because the background color will represent in here as well